Kinex typography made simple in CapCut. This type of motion graphics can be challenging but this tutorial has made it easy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make exactly the text animation that you just watched and I'll be giving a big bravo to motion nations and this other guy called is it Metilio? I can't really get that name now but I guess you would know this channel so um those guys really did great on this like so let's dive really into it so first we in cap cut and then we um drag uh we have a black screen that we drag to 10 seconds and then we have our text so we extend our text directly type in kinetic type kinetic we'll move and i'm going to be choosing an animation here and i think this type 2 is going to work so ctrl c then you see the next typography as our next word we're really going to be snappy and very fast with this so kinetic typography so set an animation for typography and that's says well so alt d for compound clip i guess you should know that or if you don't you should know it today so i want to make um typography green yeah so that's how it is and then we're going to use auto and then we bring in our next text it should be made but i want to make just exactly as you saw typography bending down and out so we're going to be doing that down and then we'll push it up and as we're taking it up so we are now going to bring it down setting very much coming to typography down here we are going to be setting a keyframe we'll first we'll make a cut and then set the keyframe for typography to bend down to come down like so and then go up like so and so the moment it's coming down maybe it's going to slide through and then come in again so just as you've seen on the screen we have it and then that's how once a bending to be but there's a break there as you can see and then now made it's gonna be sliding in and we're gonna set keyframes that we're doing that and as you see I actually did speed up this video so that it would um, be much easier for you to get the information better and so um, would shift made here set another keyframe and set simple to that position then enlarge making it big to fit in and I will scroll down then I don't like the shadow the way it is so that's why I'm doing this and then to the section set simple um, around the corner then and i'm trying to make both uh, made bigger and and put it like so and yes we got like this and then we'll import another text and then our next text should be in and i'm going to use this font called modem as we've been using gotham formerly and the system font so here we're going to be choosing um I think a blow left is going to be suitable for it so we'll give it um, 0 0.2 seconds and then we import the next text and from there the next text is supposed to be cap cut yes our whole big cap cut fits in two and larger it like so then would actually yes use a bounce in animation I think I love this so Selecting all all G and then we doing what we're doing and so we're doing I'm gonna be explaining why I did it this way 
by the end of this video or so or within the video so just keep watching and so because there were other patterns I discovered that most people will be like um you if you have too much text the compound clip is too much then you see and then you bring it back on cap clock like tend to find a way to solve that problem here so just follow through and then from there we have our next text and the next text is this that we're still gonna use up i just love this font style gotcha and this is gonna be standing here and we'll choose an animation and a bounce in i think i like that and then the next text is gonna be type this type so put type like so make it a big bold because i'm gonna be living into the system phone the system fonts so uh, i think it's okay that way so let's look for an this in i think the slide right next so it appears it's coming from behind this and then we have off and then i want to make it italic and i'm going to be using a different a totally different font here because i want it to look somehow stylish yes i like the symphony pro so that's why i selected and then we'll choose an animation and it's going to be bouncing in and i it's going to be looking i guess it's supposed to look very good just as what you saw and so setting a keyframe and then we'll move forward there so that we move we are on the app x axis so we already know it's on the x axis so we're gonna come here and select keyframe one auto key auto curve and auto curve and from there we can get some nice text and next text is motion graphics yes motion graphics and we we'll use the gutter and i'm gonna be reducing it and then i'll place it here so but um on animation i think the blow left is gonna be looking very very good on it and also very impressive so see this and i want it to be coming in exactly as this type of moves to the left so that's why exactly what's to be happening here and so we can see that happening and i'm going to be moving this also upward and as i'm doing so set a keyframe to motion graphics so that as this type moves upward we bring it beneath it this type of yeah very very good i love this so alt k so that we would um kind of auto curve and make it better so from here because of the kind of recorder i used i used the um gaming game bar recorder of microsoft and it wasn't really getting everything on CapCut. but when you're in the real CapCut, you're going to be seeing um those um sections and those things that would show you cubic curve and that was exactly what i'm using here so I think I, I basically like that curve the way it works so that you wouldn't be lost in the video or in the way we've been going. So choose the cubic curve and so um so the other one we're gonna just use the auto curve on the y axis and I guess this is gonna be good. The default text we're gonna place in can after I mean, on next text, so the next text is can. So I think I want to change the color of motion graphics to be green and then can as white and enlarging it that much and placing it so that it would stand. The C would be exactly on the G. Okay. I think this is very, very okay. And next thing, it's gonna be like, um, yeah, the animation is very good. Then, next text is b so i think we're still going to use the same animation for can for b so that it would actually just come in um the same way it's gonna come out coming the same way and as we see that's b and then we can 
compound clip again and then we compound clip the both compound clips so now we we'll move this and have in motion and then we try to um, make the motion smooth by using auto curve here because we only moved on the R Y axis and then we put our next text is challenging your first challenge but then we'll change challenging to green because it's kind of a word that of emphasis here and so we'll place the new such as the second L should be underneath the B for B mm, I guess you like that mm. so moving forward um which is an animation i like lower left for it so the next text that we're going to be having is um going to be birds yes birds and birds i want but and challenging to do some kind of you know dance so i'm going to be putting it here and then it's going to fade in and then after doing that i'll be um setting the keyframe to it uh, I think that's what we're gonna be doing now and then we go scroll down and then set the keyframe and then move forward and then as we move forward also set the keyframes okay for challenge then we move so we're gonna be doing we're gonna do this um, we're gonna continue with that process until we make challenge bend out like this and but push in like it comes in like trying to push challenge out of the way and challenge stands right this way and with so that's exactly what I want to achieve with this so as we can see now we we have that actually working in place and so we're gonna be setting the next word we're gonna bring in the next word and it's this and from there we use the gold hair okay not gold hair this time around I want to use system so this and then type 2 and we did it to 0.2 seconds again challenging but uh -huh, exactly this is what I wanted so I'm going to be pushing this keyframe forward a little bit yes and that's it so um, we're selecting all those keyframes oops okay uh, selected and then cubic yes that's exactly what we wanted to do oops <laughs> all right <laughs> cubic and then we use um auto call for our rotation and challenge excuse me and and for this we're also going to be doing the same thing oh uh-huh yes then we'll use same process and then I think we are good to go okay yeah that's just this last one and then yeah but this so would be would be yeah we'll make a compound click now and then we'll input our next text which should be tutorial so what are we doing now tutorial so this tutorial so we use the gut hair or system so we use system and we we'll make tutorial green and then we we'll set the animation for it to like so it was typed and then next word is supposed to be hearts hearts so hearts and we using gold hair font I want it to be underneath yes tutorial so so but yeah 
now we'll be pushing this upward and then we'll set tutorial where it's supposed to be and how and then if that way we'll import our next text and wait the time and this is right where it's supposed to be and with so we use type 1 0.2 seconds and 8 will be the next word place it there animation mm -hmm. and so put so would bring in our last word easy that was the last word and we're using modern so but because it's kind of close so i'm gonna be going down to increase the space within character i think so it's very very okay now set an animation for it to so, fading oh bouncing is gonna be very very good bouncing is gonna be good and so from so would cut off the other parts and you delete it and that's it that's the end of it so do also subscribe to this channel and make sure you don't lose out on our next videos